Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a macOS Sequoia VM in Proxmox. To get started, you need to locate a macOS Sequoia installation ISO and download KVM OpenCore from GitHub. Navigate to your downloads directory and extract the downloaded KVM OpenCore gzip archive. Next, open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Expand the Proxmox node name in the left navigation menu, then select the target storage device to upload ISOs to. Select ISO images, then click the upload button. Browse to and select the downloaded KVM OpenCore ISO, then click Open and Upload. Follow the same steps to upload your macOS Sequoia ISO to your Proxmox server. With both ISO files on the server, right-click on the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name, then click Next. Select the storage where the KVM OpenCore ISO was uploaded, then select it. Then set the type to Other and click Next. On the System tab, set the graphics card to VMware Compatible and the machine to Q35. Then set BIOS to OVMF. Set the EFI storage device and uncheck the Pre-enroll Keys box. Set the SCSI controller to VertIO SCSI Single then click Next. Set the Bus Device dropdown to VertIO Block then set the Target Storage device. Set the disk size to at least 60 gigabytes, and the cache to write back unsafe, then click Next. On the CPU tab, set the number of cores to 4 or more, and the type to Host, then click Next. Give the VM at least 8 gigabytes of memory, then click Next. On the Network tab, set the model to VMware VMXNet 3, then click Next. On the Confirmation page, click Finish. Select the new VM from the left navigation menu, then select Hardware in the sub-navigation menu. Click the Add drop-down and select CD DVD drive. Select the storage device where the macOS Sequoia ISO is, then select it and click Add. Select the Proxmox node name in the left navigation menu, then click Shell in the sub-navigation menu. Edit the Sequoia VM comp file on Nano. Copy the arguments from the video description and paste them at the top of the file. Then locate the two ISO files we've attached to the VM and delete the media equals CD-ROM text and replace it with cache equals unsafe. After updating the text for both attached ISO files, save your changes and close out of Nano. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select the macOS Sequoia VM, then right click on it and select Start. Then click Console on the sub-navigation menu. When you reach the Open Core menu, press Enter to launch the macOS Sequoia installer. Once you reach macOS Recovery, launch Disk Utility by double-clicking on it. Select the VertIO block device in the left navigation menu, then click Erase at the top of the application. Name the disk macOS, then click Erase. Once the process finishes, click Done and close out of Disk Utility. Double click the option to install macOS, then click Continue. Agree to the license terms, then agree again. Select the macOS disk, then click Continue. Now take the time to scale Everest and obtain your PhD. The VM will reboot several times during this process and you'll have to select macOS installer to continue the installation process. Eventually, if you're patient enough, you'll reach the macOS sysprep. Select your country or region, then click Continue.
verify your language and keyboard input, then click Continue. Click Not Now on the Accessibility page, then Continue on Data and Privacy. Select Not Now on the Migration Assistant, then Set Up Later for the Apple account, and skip to confirm. Click Agree to the Terms and Conditions, then Agree again. Enter a full name and account name, then enter and confirm a password and click Continue. Click Continue on the Location Services screen, then choose if you'd like to enable Location Services. Click your time zone on the map, then click Continue. Click Continue for Analytics, then Set Up Later for Screen Time. Select your theme, then click Continue. Welcome to Mac OS 15 Sequoia. Click Continue. If you're met with the Keyboard Assistant, follow the prompts to identify your keyboard, and click Done. Now that we have Mac OS installed, we need to configure the VM so it can boot without the OpenCore ISO attached. Open a web browser and navigate back to the KVM OpenCore GitHub page. Download the latest release of the EFI folder. We'll also download an application to mount the EFI volume on the virtual hard disk. With both downloads completed, open the downloads directory in Finder and extract the two zip archives. Open Launchpad from the dock, then search for and open the terminal. Start by changing directory to the Mount EFI download. Then we'll use chmod to make the mount efi.command file executable. Then we'll run the mount efi command. Follow the prompts to install Python and enter your password when prompted. At the Mount EFI menu, enter the number that corresponds with the Mac OS disk, then press Enter. Navigate back to the Downloads directory in Finder, and copy the extracted EFI folder. Select the EFI location in the left navigation menu, then paste the EFI folder inside of it. With all the EFI setup completed, shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select Hardware from the sub-navigation menu. One at a time, select the two ISO files and select Detach to remove them from the VM. With both of the files removed, start the VM. If everything's configured correctly, you should reach the Open Core menu. Press Enter to launch Mac OS. Log in with the credentials you set up earlier. Welcome to Mac OS 15 Sequoia, running as a VM in Proxmox.